Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. Beans. Mm -hmm. What else, Kate? Let's see now. Um, oh, yeah. Billy Joe needs a package of Bobby pins. How about Bobby Joe? She need a package of Billy pins? <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for two months for you to order them so as I could pull that on you. You should have waited longer. <laughs> yeah, I guess it could have stood a little aging. Anything else, Kate? Um, I don't know. Uh, Betty Joe, you need anything? Just these. Dog food. Well, what do we need this for? He doesn't eat dog food. He eats what we eat. We need the labels for the contest. What contest is that? You send in a picture of your dog with three labels, and the winning dog gets to make a commercial for Trail Wagon Dog Food. And they'll pay him $500. $500? Say. <laughs> Just a second. How much are they? 15 cents piece. Put him back on the shelf. <laughs> Gee, Mom, I know our dog can win. Betty Joe, with a prize like that, thousands of people are going to be entering their dogs. Blue ribbon winners, pedigrees. None like him. That's for sure. <laughs> Please, there isn't much time. We've got to take the picture, get it developed, and mail it before tomorrow night. I'm sorry, Betty Joe. There are too many things we need without spending 15 cents on a can of dog food. Uh, how about a nickel? Sam, I really don't... For the don't... label. <laughs> I'll use the dog food on my dog. <laughs> Come on, boy. Give me a big smile. Oh, Betty Jo, can't you even get him to smile? I'm having enough trouble getting him to sit up. <laughs> How do you expect a dog to smile? I don't know, but he has to. The contest is for a happy dog. Oh, my arms are getting tired. <laughs> hey! Oh, come back here, Bobby Joe. Get a picture of him. I thought this contest was for dogs, not fish. <laughs> well, fish would have a better chance of winning a good-looking dog contest than him. He couldn't even win a good-looking fish contest. <laughs> See, some dogs just can't stand to hear the undervarnished truth. Uncle Joe, you're always running him down. That's right, you're gonna give him an inferiority complex. Well, look, some dogs have got him and some dogs ain't. It only takes one look to see that he's a first-class ain't. He's got a cute personality. Yeah, and he's gonna win the contest. Don't tell me you girls are really gonna send in his picture. We certainly are. Just a waste of good film. Come on, let's start. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. I hope they turned out all right, Henry. We're going to send him into a contest. Oh, this one's a prize winner for sure, Billy Joe. If I was one of the judges, I wouldn't bother to look at another picture. Bobby Joe is a pretty good photographer. Well, she had a pretty good subject to work with. Yeah, he is pretty cute. He? I'm a little nearsighted, but even I can tell this isn't a he. Let me see that. Well, this is me. <laughs> yeah. This must have been left on the roll from last year. Weren't there any pictures of the dog on the roll? I didn't notice. Here, let me see those. Oh, here's a good one. I like the first one better. 
Well, I don't think it would do any good to send my picture into a dog food contest. Oh, you mean that contest. I'm entering my collie. Now, there's a dog. Oh, he's all right as far as collies go, but our dog's real doggy dog. Well, I've got to get this in the mail. Oh, uh, you ought to put it between a couple of pieces of cardboard so it doesn't get bent. Oh, but I haven't got time to go home. Oh, I'll be glad to cut your piece. Oh, will you? Sure, Billy Joe. I, I'd do anything for you. Oh, good. Put a stamp on it, too. <laughs> Allow me. Goodbye, Henry. <laughs> And I'm happy to inform you that your dog has been selected as one of the five finalists in our contest. I'll be leaving Hollywood on the 12th to make screen tests of the five dogs. Unless I hear to the contrary, I'll be arriving in your town on Wednesday. Very truly yours, etc. Now, I'll send the same letter to Betty Joe Bradley, Bobby Joe Bradley, and Billy Joe Bradley, Shady Rest Hotel, Hooterville. Tell them I'll arrive on Friday. <laughs> What's going on? The dog was named as one of the five finalists in the dog food contest. Those other four dogs haven't got a chance. <laughs> nope, our dog's gonna win and make the commercial and win the $500. Oh, oh don't squeeze him so hard. Him win $500. <laughs> well, uh, I, I must admit, I didn't think he had a chance. That's just because you ain't got no confidence in him. I knew right from the start he was a winner. That's why I made the girls enter him. You made us enter him. Big of you to give me the credit. Uncle Joe, you said it was a waste of film to take his picture. Oh, well, that was a reverse of psychology. If I'd have told you to send in the picture, you wouldn't have done it. Uncle Joe. There's no need to thank me, Kate. I'd have done the same thing for any dog the girls own. <laughs> I just wish the rest of Uncle Joe worked as fast as his mind. What is that, Kate? I said you got a fast mind. <laughs> Uncle Joe, you mind giving me a hand turning a couple of mattresses? I want to get the rooms ready for Mr. Talbot and this cameraman before they get here tomorrow. As soon as I finish doing this. You mind telling me what you're doing? Converting the rooms into suites. Any special reason? Yeah, so we can hike the rates. <laughs> what for? Kate, as soon as the dog becomes a big television star, there's going to be crowds of tourists breaking down our doors to see the spot where I first discovered him. <laughs> you? <laughs> Uncle Joe, aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself? Unless the dog wins the finals and does the commercial, he won't be on television. Oh, he'll win with me managing him. <laughs> oh, you're managing him. Mm -hmm. Did you get him signed a contract? Of course not. But he did give me a verbal wag of the tail on the deal. Kate, with me managing his career, it won't be no time at all until he's as famous as that other dog star, Lasso. Lassie. Yeah. He was swimming in his own swimming pool, eating porterhouse steaks for breakfast, putting his paw prints in Grauman's chow mein. And then getting back in his swimming pool to uh, wash the chow mein off his paws. Kate. Let's turn the mattresses. <laughs> Sit up. Sit down. You're not listening. Now sit up like I told you. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up like this. <laughs> no, no. Sit up. Sit up. Girls. Now this one here is a sure crowd pleaser. It's called roll over. So when I give you the command to roll over, all you gotta do is this. <laughs> now you try it. Roll over. Roll over. What's Uncle Joe trying to do, Mom? 
make the dog into another lasso. <laughs> I'm not wasting my time trying to make a star out of you. We weren't expecting you till later today, Mr. Talbot. My cameraman and I made good connections. I wouldn't call that cannonball a good connection. <laughs> hey, we're putting you in the suite A, Mr. Talbot. Oh, I don't need a suite. Oh, well, in that case, we'll put you in um, room one. <laughs> Mr. Johnson? Would you like to be in suite B or um, room two? Anything. We'll put him in room two. He probably wants to be next to Mr. Talbot. By the way, where's the pooch? Oh, he's down at the high school waiting for the girls. Yeah, he does that every day. I taught him to protect them. From his picture, he looks like he'd be able to do that. He does? Oh, he's a beautiful animal. You're just wasting your film screen testing them other four Mongols. Uncle Joe is always worried about people wasting film. Look, if you gentlemen would uh, like to wash up, lunch will be ready soon. Bathroom's the head of the stairs. Uh, after lunch, would it be all right if we looked around to see where we might shoot this test? Don't make no difference where you shoot it with this dog in the picture. He can keep you entertained for hours with his tricks. Show Mr. Talbot how he rolls over. <laughs> I'm afraid the chicken coop is not the background we're looking for, Mr. Carson. Then how about one of them artistic shots? Underneath the cannonball while she's barreling along. You can hang on to the brake rod with one hand, shoot the pitcher with the other. <laughs> Mr. Carson. Uncle Joe, why don't you let Mr. Talbot make up his own mind? I'm just trying to give him the benefit of my years of experience as a motion picture producer. Yeah. Yeah, I produced a film of the Elks Picnic for the last five years. You're kidding. Nope. Everybody said the sack race was one of the greatest sequences ever filmed. <laughs> I'd be glad to show it to you if I can get Lem Wallace to loan me his eight milligram projector. Eight milligram? Shall we continue the tour? Yes, yes, all right. But, you know, really, I think uh, the kitchen would be the ideal place to shoot the test. Oh. Now, you say the dog won't be back here until after school is out? Oh, that's right. Uh, between 3 and 3.30, depending on the cannonball. Well, fine. It gives me a chance to write a little commercial scene for us to shoot. I'll be glad to help you, Mr. Talbot. I've had a lot of experience in the advertising field. Thank you, Mr. Carson, but I wouldn't feel right if I had to pick your brand. <laughs> wonder how he meant that. Mr. Talbot! Mr. Talbot! Come on downstairs! What's the matter? The train's coming in. You're going to meet your new dog commercial star. Oh. Mr. Talbot's here. Uh, Mr. Talbot, Mr. Johnson, I'd like you to meet my daughters. This is Betty Jo. Okay. And this is... All they want to meet is the dog. Well, there he is, gentlemen. Leaves you kind of speechless, don't he? <laughs> Where's the collie? Oh, well, that's mostly in the back part of it. <laughs> no, no, the collie, the collie. The, the, the dog in the picture. Here, this, this, this dog. Why, that looks like Henry Brewster's collie. Oh, no. What's the matter? Henry must have put his picture in our envelope. And Henry Brewster's dog is the winner, right? Right. That mutt? Does this mean our dog's not going to get a screen test? We ain't going to get a chance at the $500? Well, I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> Is um, this a private wake, or can anybody get in on it? Just never would have happened if you girls would listen to me, not send in this has-been's picture. <laughs> you reversing your psychology again? I didn't expect it to work in the first place. Never has. <laughs> well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sit down, Mr. Talbot. You'll have to excuse the girls. They're a little disappointed about the dog. He could have won. Yeah, and he's cute, and he's smart, and he's... I think so, too. And another thing... You do? Sure. That's why I've decided to make a test of your dog anyway. You mean our star's back in the contest? Well, no, but uh, I've got an idea for a different kind of commercial, and, well, if the sponsor likes the test, I think we might want your dog for a whole series. A whole series? Oh, that's wonderful! How about that, Uncle Joe? <laughs> Oh, uh, 
Mr. Talibut, as the dog's manager, uh, we've got a little negotiating to do. How much you figured on paying to be in these commercials? Well, in the past, we've paid $100 a day to use the dog, but I want to use the whole family in these commercials. Us acting on television? Yeah, but I don't want you to act. I want you to be yourselves. You see, my idea is to show a real family and the way they love and care for their pet. Well, will you do it? Now, hold on. We got a little more negotiating to do. <laughs> How much you figured on paying Kate and the girls? Well, what would you say? Oh, well, if you pay a dog $100 a day, Kate ought to be worth at least uh, $20. Thank you. <laughs> 10 for the girls. Each. Look, let's not quibble, Mr. Carson. If the sponsor likes the test, I think I can make a deal for $350 a day for the dog and the family. $350? If I'd have started higher, he'd have gone lower. That reverse psychology always works. <laughs> I've typed up these copies of a sample commercial. Now, this is the idea. You're working in the kitchen, okay? You look up and you see the camera. You act surprised if you didn't know it was there. You say hello, and then you introduce your daughters. Hey, Chief. Excuse me, why don't you all study your lines, huh? Sh shall we practice? What's going on here? Now, Mr. Talbot, where do you think I ought to put this? Well, I think outside would be a dandy place. <laughs> I think it ought to be inside. So when people look at Kate and the girls, they'll know where it's coming from. When I directed the El Sacramento... Mr. Carson, I have directed hundreds and hundreds of commercials, and I think I know what I'm doing. Well, if you ain't sure, I'd be glad to give you the benefit of my movie-making experience. I'll be very happy to call on you if I ever make an eight-milligram picture. <laughs> Bobby Joe. Cut, 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 cut. In all the Elks picnics I've directed, I've never seen such bad acting. Well, what's wrong? Let's start from the beginning. You're supposed to walk across the kitchen, yeah. see the camera, yeah. and act surprised. Yeah. Now, do you think you can do that? Well, I can try. Now? Now. Oh, I didn't know you were there. Cut! <laughs> you call that walking? That's the way I always do it. Give it more meaning. Act more surprise. Okay, now, Artie, let's make a sound check, huh? Right. All right. Okay, Artie, we hot? It's hot, Chief. Good. Now, folks, there's nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Microphone, camera. Nothing. Just relax. Now, we start standing where you are, Mr. Bradley. You walk across the room, you stop right on that chalk mark, but don't look down at it. Don't look down. Look into the camera and say your first line. Now, shall we try it? All right, fine. <laughs> Can you see everything? Yep. Yeah. You got a good shot? Well, now, if I was doing it... <laughs> Aren't there any sack races going on today, Mr. <laughs> May I? Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right, folks, just a rehearsal. Now, let's start it alive, alive, alive. Action. <laughs> Hotel. I'm Kate Bradley, and these are my daughters. Billy Joe. Ooh, hello there. <laughs> Bobby Joe. Hello, everybody out there in television land. I put that in to give it a television feeling. And my youngest, Betty Joe. Hi. <laughs> oh, no, 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 cut, cut, cut. Mrs. Bradley, aren't we overdoing it just a little? 
Yeah, but Uncle Joe said that that's the way we should... Uncle Joe? Yeah, Kate, you were overacting. But you showed us how. Maybe I better show you again. Will you stay out of this? <laughs> now, look, Mrs. Bradley, we'll, we'll have to work a little bit on the introductions. Why don't we cut to the spot where you go to the cupboard, get out the dog food, and put it down for the dog? But you, you can't do that. Why not? We don't have any, have any of that kind of dog food in the house. That's right. We never keep it in the house. You sent in three labels with the picture. Oh, Mr. Drucker cut them off the cans and gave them to me. No problem, Chief. We can, uh... You're right, Artie. No problem. No problem at all. We'll send out for some dog food. Uncle Joe, how would you like to be assistant director on this picture? <laughs> you mean you want me to take over while you're going to Hooterville and get oh, the no, dog food? No, no, no. You've got it wrong, Uncle Joe. You're the assistant director. I'm the director. You go to Hooterville for the dog food. <laughs> Uncle we... Joe, Uncle Joe, the show must go on. Go. <laughs> See, Artie, you just have to use your head. Now, I'll tell you where I want to put the dog. Where's the dog? I don't know. Here, boy. Here, boy. Here, boy. Hip. Where's the dog? He went into Hooterville with his manager. <laughs> uh, Billy Joe, you set the table. Bobby Joe, you take in the bread and butter. Yes, ma'am. And Betty Jo, you hand me the platter for the chicken. When are you going to feed the dog? Right now. Cut, cut. Very, very good, girls. Very good. <laughs> now, Mrs. Bradley, we're going to dolly in and get a close-up of you holding the can of dog food. Mm -hmm. Then when the dog comes back, we're going to shoot you. What? Photograph you. <laughs> we'll photograph you dishing out the food to the dog and feeding him. OK? Now, let's see how it looks when you hold up the food. All right. Oh, no, Mrs. Bradley, no, 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 the label, the label, the label, the show. <laughs> the least you can do is carry the bag. You didn't help with the pumping. You do everything I told you, and in no time at all, we'll be banking $350 a day. <laughs> Here you are, Mr. Talibut. Last three cans Sam had on the shelf. Thank you. Oh, you took the labels off and sent them in with a picture. Oh, well, that's all right. We, uh, we just happen to have a couple of cans with us. Thank you. Now, folks, let's get this finished. Now, girls, you stand close to your mother. You stand around her as she opens up a can of dog food. Is that where I say the words about how good it is and everything? Yeah, that's right. You see, you open up the dog food, you put it in the dish, then you call the dog. You put the dish down on the ground, and we'll move in for a close-up of the dog while he eats the food. You understand? Let's shoot it. <laughs> All right, let's shoot it. All right, folks, this one's for the money. <laughs> and it contains everything that's good for your dog. You hungry? <laughs> I told him that trick. <laughs> All dogs love the meaty smell and good taste of trail wagon dog food. Right, boy? <laughs> Go ahead and eat it. It's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut, cut. What's the matter with the dog? Why, why won't he eat his supper? He probably ain't hungry. It's not that at all. No self-respecting dog would eat this. What's wrong with it? Smell it. Smells all right to me. Well, it didn't to me, and it didn't to the dog, and it probably tastes even worse. Well, maybe it's just that one can. Artie, give me the other can. Where is it? Hey, uh, boss. Right there. Uh, uh, here, boss. <laughs> Mr. Talbot. I couldn't tell folks to feed this to their dogs for $350,000 a day. Now, hold on, Kate. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> mm, that tastes wonderful. Mr. Talbot, I got a great idea for a commercial. You won't even need a dog. I'll do it for $50. Here, look at this. Mm -hmm. That's just yummy, folks. <laughs> folks? If trail wagon dog food's good enough for human beings, it's good enough for your dog. Pay attention. A star's being born.
Field Junction. This has been a Filmways presentation.